My son's born in, the, in this business, so they know it very well, and I wanted them to be the future, who will run the company. It should be internally, and that's how we grow them and how we teach them. In the end, we are the only people running the whole business, taking decision. Sometimes the hardest thing as a C-suite executive of a growing company is to realize there's a tomorrow. You're so focused on the now that tomorrow seems a decade away. But that's where businesses are made. Thinking about the next move and stepping outside the now bubble to realize your path to growth. Based primarily at their facility in Suez, Five Star now boasts a milling capacity of 1,750 tons a day with another 850 tons to come, making it the largest storage and milling facility of its kind in Egypt. Helping Five Star is its vertical integration. Five Star owns a dedicated berth at Adabia port in Suez, fitted with a grain unloader capable of processing 600 tons an hour from panamax sized vessels, plus grain silos and storage capacity of 150,000 metric tons, the largest in Egypt. The company today is involved in milling, animal feed milling, and a polypropylene or PP weaving facility making packaging bags, all right here in Egypt. I sat down to talk with Mahmoud Al Shurbagi, the chairman and managing director of Five Star Group in Egypt, about how he managed his company's path to success and the perspective it gained as it grew. I'm Riz Khan, and this is the CEO's Outlook with HSBC. We own our land, we deal with our land, so we, we were like that after the 52. And uh, I went to Australia and I did the uh, a lot of improvement to my quality in studying and technical work. And I wanted to come back again to our area, but I wanted to do something out of the scope of Egypt. I want to do something more international. I've been in flower building everywhere, and now it was the chance to do what I want. So I started with uh, the first flower mill, and. It was a surprise because from the first three, four months I was running seven days and demand was unbelievable. And after six months, we started to build the second mill. And again, it was the same thing. And then we went to the third mill and then the fourth and fifth. So, uh, and we had, the, I had to put the feed mill at that time, twice the feed mill and was expanded to another feed mill and the, the factory. Let's start with what uh, Five Star Group does. Uh, give me a basic description and, and the scale of the operation. A flower mill to produce first flower to different use. So we produce flour for all the baked products, which is a big range, and for the biscuit, which is a different industry. We're producing also for the high quality biscuit and standard biscuit, and for the pasta we supply a lot of flour to the bust industry, which is very big in, uh, in Egypt. And in the feed mill, we produce big variety. I mean, all the different varieties of uh, feed milling for large animal, for poultry, for aqua feed in a big way, and for pets food too. So we're having the full range. We found always the one of our biggest problem is the bags. There is, it was no Bag manufacturing in Egypt can supply us with full what we need. And bags is important. If you bring it from two or three different suppliers, it looks different. So we had to add the uh, bag manufacturing. That's how we got into polypropylene. HSBC was with us from the first day. They financed a lot of our uh, new projects and they still do that. They help in many uh, financing studies and uh, advice. They did a lot of successful work for us in this particular uh, point. It's a partner with us and it's a good one. We are able to deal with them as a partner. Some other banks is difficult. They are only bank and in banking. But uh, HSBC from the beginning, we know the people, and that was the success. The relation with the people, and their understanding of our business, and their limitation. And that's, I think, this will continue, which that's success for us. 
What would you like your legacy to be then? What would you like people to remember you for in terms of what you've done? I did something for my country. I think uh, from the background of my family, we did a lot of things for the country. And I wanted to continue to do that. That's the legacy. And I did that. I'm doing that now. I'm doing uh, some hospitals, some schools. It's just uh, charity and uh, it's working well. I think that's the legacy. It's not to be only a businessman, successful businessman, but be able to remember me with that. Sometimes keeping an eye on the future and where growth will come from is a critical factor to success. Judging the challenges of now is just as important as keeping the roadmap to success front and center. And as we learned from Mahmoud Al Shurbagi and Five Star, it can lead to spectacular success. Catch more stories of achievement and ambition with me, Riz Khan, and HSBC with the CEO's Outlook. <laughs>